Indy Adele with Perfect Manager at Curly Wellness and Body Tot. I'm here today to give you a few tips to keep you on track for eating healthy during this quarantine time when we're at home a lot. Um, so we've been doing this quarantine thing now for a few weeks. Um, I know that when I'm at my full-time job, you have a set amount of food with you at work that you bring or pack that day. Um, but now we're at home, so we have our full fridge, we have our full pantry, we have everything we own at our fingertips all day, every day. And that can definitely cause a problem for us in terms of trying to eat healthy and stay on track with taking good care of our bodies in terms of our nutrition. So just want to give you a few tips today that hopefully can help you out. Um, the first thing, if you don't already do this, I highly recommend downloading a free food tracking app on your phone. They have a couple different ones out there. I've used both. They have my fitness pal and lose it or two that I've had experience with both of those. There may be more out there that, um, I don't know about, so just check that out on your phone. Um, what I like about it is, A, it's free. You can put in your food. We've got some extra time on our hands right now. I actually will take time and put in recipes that I make on a regular basis. Um, and then also, if you slide over, it can talk to you a little bit about your macros too, so it can track your carb, protein, fat ratio. If you have a certain goal, if you like to eat low carb, um, that kind of thing, it will help you track that as well. And you put in all your demographic information. You can put in your um, height and weight, age and activity level. Another thing I love about it is if you're getting your workouts in, if you're working out with us through our um, Facebook page or if you're doing your less meals on demand or just workouts at home, you get extra calories for that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so definitely make sure you log that exercise as well. And it might be a good way to help you keep on track with how much you're exercising um, while you're at home. You can go back through and kind of see what you've done. Um, so that's the number one thing. Um, I know being at home with my kids, um, if I want to go for that second Pop-Tart, it's a little bit harder to do that when I know i got to put it in the app and I see that it's 200 calories, so it really helps. Um, that's food tip number one. Food tip number two is, again, we have our whole pantry, we have a whole fridge, all that stuff available to us all day. Um, we've got our handy-dandy lunch boxes for kids. Maybe you have a lunch box that you take with you to work. Um, one good idea is just in the morning, put your daily allotted snacks, whether it's for your kids or for yourself, in that container, in that lunchbox. And then when the lunchbox is empty, we're done with snacks for the day. Um, I think that's a really good visual if you have small kids um, because if they're anything like mine, they're walking through the kitchen wanting a snack every five minutes. They know they can look at their container and when it's gone, it's gone. And again, that's even good for us as adults. Um, we can kind of put our allotted food maybe in a bag and we know that that's what we have to eat for the day. Um, the other third tip, really kind of simple, you know, we're not able to eat out as much right now, which should be helpful to us in terms of eating healthy. Um, but even though we're home, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be in the kitchen like all day, every day cooking. Um, so this is something I do when I work full time, but I'm also trying to do now that I'm home and that's meal prep. So um, I have my Instapot here, which I really love. We were also recently given an air fryer. Um, what I like about these tools is that I can be cooking something in the oven and while I'm prepping, got that in the oven, I will cook another meal in my Instapot or my air fryer um, or just be thinking ahead for the week um, and trying to cook two or three meals at one time. That way I'm maximizing my time in the kitchen um, and if I know that I already have a healthy lunch prepped the next day, I'm going to be more likely to eat that um, than, you know, not. So uh, I really like these tools. If you don't have those at home, again, just try to maximize your time in the kitchen. You can um, you know, try to go ahead and cut up vegetables for salads, kind of have that ready. Um, this is also a really great time to try out new recipes that you don't normally have time for. So if you were to purchase something new, like an Instapot or an air fryer, it's a great time to try it out right now because you've got the time at home. Um, new tools sometimes can be a little bit tricky, so you got to do a little bit of research on how to use those correctly. Um, so those are my three big tips is um, portion out your food, track your food, and try to meal prep. Let's get all of that um, prepping in at one time. That way you've got more time to be with your family. You've got more time to binge watch Netflix or work out or whatever it is you want to do. And you've got your meal set for the week. Okay. Thank you guys so much. See you soon.